Hello I am Warner Brothers Discovery. Well if you thinking what I am we're the biggest Hollywood studios ever we can think. In this case in a long time we make big franchises like Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry and more. The more we can think of. I have a nice brother named Rosie Bros Pictures. Come here and meet us. We're the Warner Brothers. We can make your movies if you request it. But there is something wrong. Some of our movies might end up in a box office bomb. We might close if our movies fail at the box office. Can you save us from box office? There isn't easy in there like there's some movies that preform poorly in the box office. You will save us from the bomb? I hope so. Oh, Rosie Bros. Pictures. Well, what are you doing out there? Well... I'm making my movie. How is your movie going? Well, the last movie I made was just horrible. Well, this movie's gonna be better than the first one. So, you better work on your movie, huh? Well, I'm sorry your movie was bad. But, we can make it more better. Well, that's thanks a lot to some disgusting humor in there like me trying to eat the feet well anyways feet reveals were gross well don't do it if you want your movie to be better what are you waiting for well the movie is about to start right now Hmm, now we're in this place. So, now we're gonna get ready for our song. So then, let's go wait for some visitors. Alright, everybody. So, I want you introduced to my song. So then, you're gonna, you're gonna love it when I sing this song. Okay, now then, it's time to sing the song. So then, we're gonna do this. If you can, if you want to, if you can, this is Rosie Bros. If you like to, well then it's yours. This is Rosie Bro. Well, yes, it is. That is Rosie Bros. That is Rosie Bros. This is it. Well, that's Rosie Bros. This is Rosie Bros. This is Rosie Bro. Oh, oh, oh. If you love to watch their movies if you can well then your movies are amazing well you can watch your movie if you can if you could if you can you can do it if you can well that's yours that is yours well, 
if you own it. I got your rights. If you get in, that's yours. Will you get in? If you get Well, I am Rosie Bose. Well, you can call me NBC Universal Fan Studios or NBC Universal Bros. This is our company. If you like to, well, yes, this is. Well, you can do so. If you can do that. If you can. If you can. If you can, will you like to? If you like to, well, that's yours. Well, then, if you like, if you want it, if you want it, if you want it, well, then, that's yours. If you can, if you can, if you can, if you can, if you like to, yes this is, if you can, if you do so, well I can, I would love to. I can, I can, I can, well I can, I can, I can, well I can, well I can, yes I can, I can do it, if I can. That's a good song! So what are we gonna do? We are going to make this world more amazing than before. I wish this city should have been great. So, how about we should destroy it? Good choice, we shall have to make WB City good by destroying it. That's gonna be an amazing move, man. Of course, man. So, we're gonna destroy that city. But first, we gotta do some plan. So, first of all, we're gonna go to Earth. Then, we're going to scare and terrorize every citizen in there. And then, we're going to use our weapons to destroy this city. That shall be a good idea. So, anybody agree? Well, let's go. <laughs> Can you see that car? Yes, that is NBC Universal Fan. He's picking up somebody. Now go after him. Why don't we go after them? Now, can you help me, Cowborg? Can you control this spaceship? Um, it looks like Cartoon Network is after me. Now we gotta get him out. We need to get away from him. Now let's go run away from this guy. Oh no, now we're gonna crash that. New car we made. Aha! Uh -huh. I just found them. I just found that car. That weird looking car. That's probably him. Um, what are we gonna do with them? Oh, uh, how about you make a lantern's gag? Well, time to do it. Oh, uh, how the hell they would make a stupid noise just to 
stop us. We'll do try and get us crashed. Now let's go fire up the engines. Oh really? We're about to lose the fuel. Because the stupid Cartoon Network just made me waste the gas on this. Now we're not able to catch up to him because of us. Ha 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 ha! Now they're losing fuel. Now we're gonna win. <laughs> See you later and give up, suckers. Now it looks like we lose fuel. Oh, come on. We just lose the fuel. Now we're gonna not able to catch them up without gas. Well, how about we should fill them up with some gas? All right, Violent Cinema. Now I need some help from you. What? Uh, can you help me fill the gas? Now get the pump and put it on the car. Very cool. Now I just did it. Finally, we have enough gas for the car to move. Now let's go. Finally, we just got gas for my car. Now we're now able to catch up with Cartoon Network. So where is he? Ah, uh, he seems like he just got away with us fully. Oh, seriously? Now we just got gas. And Cartoon Network is gone. Now what should we do? How about we should stop at my building? Hello everybody, welcome to the Beyond Cinema. Your movie will begin shortly. Oh Please my god, sure shut up. The movie is the about to start. Premiere. Did you hear something? Yes. Oh, 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 Most importantly, make sure to support the original creator for the making of this movie by subscribing to their YouTube channel. Now, enjoy the movie. We 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 It's time to regenerate the being sad in them. Well, how about we should go home right now? Let's go home. So, because we cannot do this that long. So then, now let's go to our house. Oh, well, my friends. Ooh, that was a long day. Now, how about we should sleep? Um... It looks like the power has go down. I regenerated it too much. Anyways, can you deal with it for today? We can bring the power back tomorrow. Anyways, let's go sleep. Mm. Oh, where are you? Ah, somebody took my friends. Right now. Now I gotta save them. They got kidnapped by Cartoon Network and his cat. Yeah, we did that because your company sucks. 
and no one likes you at all. And you're just stupid shield. Now, get lost, loser. Why I'm here. So I have reported that you call yourself a loser frequently. You need some treatment. But I have some issues with me right now. Now show me pictures right now. I wanna describe this. Since then I have been working with you since we met in Rosie Brothers Pictures and we worked hard on making movies. This time I having stress times. I don't bother turning in another picture. I told you there will be many stress that I can't make a movie with this. I know what we're stress are. Stress is when you were having a hard time and so then. I have been calling myself loser for a long time since you have been hired to work with me. 79 how I will have a good time with you? Well I recommend you to act positive to yourself by going to this circus. Where am I in? Oh hello, I'm a clown. So... Do you wanna? Come on, can you sing and dance with me? No thanks. I am good. Come on, let's sing and dance. This is I'm a clown. This is I am a clown. This is I am a clown. This is I'm a clown. So come on, dance with me. Song? Now let's try another song. I am a clown. Boing boing. I am a clown. Boing boing. I am a clown. Boing boing. I am a circus clown. I like. I am going to boing. I like to boing. I like to boing. Boing boing. I like to boy, boy, boy. I like to boy. I love jumping, boy, boy. Oh, it looks like they like my other song. We'll see you later. Bye. <coughs> it looks like we have escaped from the circus. Seventy nine kicked me too. That was a torture. Let's take a nap inside of there. It looks like he is sleeping. Let's go wake him up right now. Hey! Hello, you finally came back. So now we need to do some plans to do. So then, we're gonna do some plans. So, the first plan is we're gonna... Go have some fun for the rest of the movie. So then, right then, at like the 90 minute mark, we're gonna go save them. So, deal? Well, let's talk about some plans. Well, first, we're gonna go to the New York City. Then, we're going to go around the world. So, we're gonna first, the first destination we're gonna go to is the New York. So, now we're got tickets to go. Yay! Three, let's go. Now, let's go to the airplane. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where we are going to sleep. We are going to go to the hotel to sleep. However, let's not try to go some chess here. And if you dare to cause chaos out there, then we're gonna get kicked out of the hotel. And we'll never come back because of what it happened. 
seriously, how did that made it to New York? And of course, we heard the moo from the spaceship. So how? How can be a mooing can be in New York? There's no cows out there. Oh, great. Not another moo playing. This is a bizarre place to go. Let's go to the hotel. This is way too weird. Aha, now we're inside my hotel. Now we're safe from the weird sounds I heard. Anyways, why don't we go to bed? So let's have another day without hearing a moo. Trust me, that's 100% safe without any noise occurring. Well, let's hope no bad things happen in my dream. Good night, and see you in the morning. Bye. Oh, great. Now I'm at a farm, and I see some cows. I hope that cow doesn't make that mood like it did at New York when we're outside with my friends. Now, let's go milk some cows. Oh god, no, not that moo. It just made a moo. Now, now let's get him some milk. So, now let's go get something, some glass of milk. Ooh, I got the milk from the cow finally. Now it's time to drink that milk the cow made. Oh, now a horse is coming to the farm. All right, now we got a horse out there. So now, what should I do with that horse? What? How can a horse make that snore? How? Just what the? How? That's way too weird. Let's hope that horse doesn't make that move because... That horse makes a neigh, not a moo. moo. Ah! Why would a horse make a moo? moo. How? How did that horse able sound moo. like a cow? Moo. Ah, my! Ah! Moo. That's it. I'm gonna... Ah! How did it able sound like a moo? Ah! ah. Are you okay? Of course I am. So, I'll talk about my dream I had last night. So, I'm going to say that I had a dream about a farm. And then a cow moves. And I milked, I drink my milk from the cow. Then I heard a horse coming. Then he made a mooing sound. What a bizarre dream. Okay, how about we're gonna go to have some breakfast right now. So, see you later. Why would we eat pictures for breakfast? Well, that's because that's how they served. All they served is they only serve pictures, not food. Excuse me if I take one more. That was a weird breakfast to have. So that was weird to have pictures for breakfast. Well, we're finished for now. Let's see what we can do to go there. Why don't we go to our hotel, maybe? All right, now it's time to sleep again. So then, let's give it a try. I hope I don't get a bad dream. And today we're gonna sleep good. Okay, I'll give it a try. Alright, it looks like we're in the underwater. So, I guarantee it's a good dream. Ooh, I see. Now it's, I call Music94. He lives there. And we can see some fishes swimming in there. Alright, he is now sleeping. Anyways, let's not try to wake him up. 
It looks like we see a group of fishes out there. Well, what are you doing? Well, well then, anyways, that's so great to see these fish going out there. What? Not a moo! Why would a cow moo or in a underwater? I thought we're safe from that moo, but no! That ear grating moo just played! Really? Seriously? Why would you moo like a cow? Well, we're glad to be on the island. What grinds my gears? There's a stupid cow moo in the ocean I went. And by the helping the fact, I was just looking at the fish school until I suddenly heard a cow mooing. Well, mooing doesn't even belong in the ocean. And they're supposed to be on the farm, not a ocean, not on the ocean. Well then, but thankfully I just get out of that ocean because of that. Well, at least I am out of the ocean because I heard a moo in the ocean. Well, is it a cow swimming in the water or, or a seahorse? There's a cow as a fish. I don't know anyways. Change of plans, guys. I am going to get out of the New York and go to a different city because of what it happened. That was a weird dream. And there's many weird things happening out there. And I can't stand that moo. And that has got to be out of here. And there's many weird stuff that doesn't belong in New York. That was a terrible experience. Well, how about we should go to a different country? And Carlo and Rosie, pack your bags. We're out of here. <laughs> Alright, we're in Somalia, where my family's from. So, now in there, hopefully... No weird things will happen in there, or we're never traveling to any countries ever again. And how about you explain some of your backstory? Now, excuse me if you move away from here. Let's go talk about it. So, now time to do that. <clears throat> so, my family grew up in Somalia. So then, alright. So, you know that I'm a Muslim because my family came from Somalia. So, let's go explain. Anyways, so right now, we're going to say that my family was born and raised in there. So, in Mogadishu, Somalia. So, this is where they were born in. So... My dad, well, he was born in 1979, and he was a good dad to me, and that's my dad, so I'm not gonna tell you their names, it's a secret. Anyways, well, seven years later, in 1986, my mom was born as well, so right now, my parents were were 44 and 37 respectively. Well, so my family moved to Minnesota some in, in that year. Well, my dad moved to there by the end of the 1900s while mommy, my mom came out there in 2007. So, right now they live there. So, I'll talk about Somalia. <clears throat> well, Somalia is located in Africa where I, we go there. So, we're here for that backstory. So, anyways, 
we're gonna say how Somalia originated. Prior to World War II, well, this is what the city looks like before World War II happens. So, this is where my parents lived. And for the time being, they were born there some couple of years later. And the city was normal and good to visit. Well, probably then we're gonna say that next year we're gonna go there. Well then, so, alright, so when the war happened, well, everybody st started screaming. And you'll know that there was a bad war happening. And people started screaming, like, so, alright then. Now, let's go talk about World War II. Okay, so you can see a picture of a exploding. Well, that was taken in the 1939s. It happened by the fact somebody set it up that some exploding tools to do so. So that happened. So now let's take a look at some more pictures. And of course, they started in 1939 and, uh, and ended in 1945. So then, we'll never forget it to this day. And here's airplanes flying out there. And here's something they're about to happen. Well, watch out for explosion. <laughs> yes, you're right. That's extremely dangerous, go there. And you're gonna die if you go to the area. So you have to beware. So, do you agree? Well, anyways, we're gonna do so. Well, we remember that we're gonna go to Kenya next year. So, anyways, Let's talk about my life. So, in, the, in 2009, I was born. And I was good, baby. And suddenly, but I got a G-tube in April because I didn't eat that well. Didn't want to drink breast milk as a baby. And so then... But I, uh, right now I'm okay anyways, right now. So, right now we're going to get close to graduating from high school next year. We're going to go to high school next year, everybody. So, so to now to this day is dangerous still. Alright guys, we're going to find and look for that that tom that somali tom that we need to go find now let's go to the jungle all right guys this is the somali jungle everybody so we're gonna look for the tom so well okay so rosie bros you lead the way carlo bear well, you're gonna walk behind me, and Rosie Bros will be the leader. So, he's gonna lead us to the tomb. So, now let's go there. Um, how many miles are the tomb away from? Uh, that's very long. It is just 193 miles away. Oh, I just saw a elephant. Oh, hello, elephant. Hello, I am Pyro, the elephant. It's nice to see you. Okay, I need some help from you. So, 
I want to get the Somali Tom. So, can you please follow me there? Is there a way? Can you tell me where it is and where is the location? Okay. So, the Somali Tom is located in. If you go to the straight, then take a left, then take another left, then to the right, then follow straight, then you have to take a right path, and finally take the final left, and you'll find that sweet Somali Tom. Alright, now let's go follow that elephant. Somali Tom, right? Yes, that's all I wanted. So thanks for helping us find that Tom. Well, see you later. And I'll come here if you need help. Well, ask me, Pyro the Elephant, if you need some help in the African savanna. <coughs> Alright. Now we have the Somali Tom. So now, right now, let's see what does it do. Hmm. Let's touch it. <coughs> Alright, we touched the Tom. Now it's gonna turn into a lucky Tom. Hello everybody, my name is Lucky, so let's sing a song. I love to hear that song, so go for it. Hello, I am here, well I am Lucky, well there we go, well we're gonna say, well I'm a golden, shiny tome, I'm golden, I'm a shiny gold, I'm shiny, I am tome, well I love, I am tome, well then, well I am yellow, lucky, I am yellow, I look very yellow and clean, well then, I will love, well I am, I'm shiny, I am luck, I have luck, I'm full of luck, I am lucky and luck, I am sparkly, I am shiny, well, I'm shiny, I am lucky, I am shiny, I'm lucky, yeah, I'm shiny, I look lucky, I am so lucky, I am lucky, I am sparkly, I am lucky, I would, I am lucky, I am sparkly, I am very shiny, I am lucky, I am very sparkly, I like to do, I am so shiny, well, I am lucky as a trophy, I am so lucky, I am a trophy, I am truly like a Arabia, I love to, I would like to, I am dairy, True, truthful, I will like, I am very shiny, I am, I'm very shiny, I am very shiny, I am shiny, if you like, uh, 
Yeah. I am shiny. I am lucky. I am lucky. I am lucky. I have sparkle. I am yellowy. I'm so yellowy. I'm very yellowy. I am lucky. Wow. That was the best song ever. Yeah. Now follow me. Now let's go to China. <sighs> okay, where are you? We're at my house. This is where I live. Ooh, here's that building where you live behind you. Well, goodbye, Lucky. And I hope you have the safe day in your home. <laughs> oh wow, this is your home, isn't it? Yes, it is. Anyways, we're gonna explain my backstory. I was born in Saudi Arabia to the Chinese-born parents. In fact, my parents were Chinese and Arabian, between the Chinese and Arabian. And so, before the war happened, I was born in 1927. So, I am still alive today. But we'll see what happened to War II and World War. And then, in 1914, the war started, and it lasted for four years, and ended in 1918. And suddenly, there's a cold war going on. It started in 1947, and then, it turned 20, on the day it started, and I went to join it yes you know that i went to join the cold war well then what did you do when it started by the time the cold war started i started to join in the cold war and i battled with a lot of people and so far well then, I joined in the Cold War. Wow, that's how it is. This is me in 1949. And you can see I was a leader of that war at that time. Yep, I was about to join. And here's the explosion happened in 1952. But I managed to flee away but thankfully i survived anyways now let's go try get our powers back and to get that back now you should touch this and it'll give you a song of soul Ooh, looks like i'm getting a power of soul Lita. wow i am getting my powers this is tickling me, ha 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 ha. Now let's harmony, harmony, harmony! So... Here's the power inside of me, and this is the tone where I gonna get powers, and I got. There and the power of soul, power of 
so you there's a soul behind you and this is power of soul this is the power 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 uh, power yeah power power uh, power some more power but even more this is power power and power this is the soul's justice justice yeah this is the Even more. Now you need to touch it right now. Okay, I'm trying to. Um. Wow. Here we there. Oh wow. This is the power inside of me. I could this. Mm, 
I could do so. I have the power of me. This is the power. This is power. If you're struggling, 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 well, this is your darkness. Ding, dings. Uh -uh. All right, now we have the power back. So, anyways, now let's go home to our headquarters. Now, what happened to our headquarters? They just got destroyed. Tell me how they got destroyed. Oh, that's because Cartoon Network did this. Well, have you secured this headquarters properly? Yes, we have. We did that while we are gone. And somebody destroyed this headquarters while you were gone. There's no excuse in securing this headquarters. You should have secured the headquarters more properly. You need to grow up. We did this because you deserve your headquarters to be gone. <laughs> hey you, Cyborg Decay, why would you do this? Uh, we're in the surprise, so I want to do a small surprise for you. That was a dangerous one. Why would you do this to us? Now, you're gonna die in the fire. Uh-oh, he's gonna pull a C4. He's gonna explode the world. Everybody get to the real world before our headquarters get blown up. Now let's go throw it and let it explode. <laughs> All right, we're in the real life. Whew. I'm glad we're out of this place and the headquarters is gone thanks to cyborg he put a bomb on our headquarters and our headquarters exploded so now then it's gone no our headquarters is so gone now i'm sad because my headquarters got destroyed it's okay. They will rebuild their headquarters for us. Really? Yay! For a reason, I'm on a toilet. I'd rather watch them being in the real life. I'm planning to walk around how the world looks like. Someday I will get to see the whole world. like we saw cyborg now he's gonna chase us for lunch for that <laughs> let's chase that guy we hate <laughs> ha see you yeah later stupid cat all right my friends so right now we're gonna go sleep is night right now so see you in the morning good night oh great now we're at a farm in a real life farm not this farm again now we have to get through these moves now what will the cows do <coughs> what the hell how did a cow meet a horse whiny. They're not a horse. Why would they do that? I hope you don't moo like you do. 
Let's shall drink coffee. Did you just meet a single moo? Oh, the baby cows just meet a moo. Ah, oh, now let's go inside the barn. Hello, Cluck. Well, hello. I'm a chicken. So, what do you need? Well, there's cows mooing. But I managed to get in the barn safely. So, shall we get out of here? Well, we're gonna do that if we hear a single moo. Oh, uh, how about you can take me for a flight? Are you okay? Now, let's go fly. Well, what do we like of the sky? Um, why you can fly? Oh. I am capable of flying like chickens do, like in roosters at will. Well, looks like we have escaped from this torture from the cows. Well, look, we saw a bee. I love a bird. So, what are you doing? We're just taking a ride with the chicken. Well, there's a sufferable, miserable death killed by an airplane. Ouch, that gotta hurt. Every year, a lot of animals, birds, and bugs die by getting run over by an airplane while flying. Oh no, that's gonna hurt very badly. Well, me too. I don't want to get run over by an airplane. So, you gotta be aware for airplanes when flying. Look, there's an airplane behind! Ah! Yeah, we're gonna get killed by the airplane! No, no, no! I don't wanna lose you, my friend! Huh? Phew! That airplane just turned over us. Or we would have died. Oh, thank God you're safe from that airplane. Yeah! We're gonna die if the airplane got us. But we're safe right now. So how do animals get killed while flying? There's a, another way other than getting killed by an airplane. Well, birds and bugs can get killed by the low temperature in the weather. Especially during winter. The temperature drops like negative, and birds can die at minus 40, while birds and insects can get killed by 53 negative. 53. In this case, it's my birthday was in December, so I hope I'll have a warm birthday though. It was during negative temperature times. Well, birds get killed when the temperature is negative 40, while insects get killed at negative 53. And this is important to wear jackets outside so you don't die too. Then, Cluck and Ben, why are you not wearing clothes oh that's because well i'm a bee and i am a chicken so animals don't wear clothes wait i'm a human in real life well humans wear clothes in real life so then good luck suffering a miserable death out there huh so then that's why humans wear jackets in the winter when it's cold so because they protect them from the cold so they don't get freezed hmm what are coats well jackets are type of clothing that is used in the winter to protect humans from the cold so what are species 
are you in real life? Me? Well, I'm a human. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm a human. So, well, when the jackets are used? Well, there's different types of jackets. Well, for example, there's a winter one. They're worn by humans during the winter when it's cold. Okay, okay, okay. So, what our temperature is required to wear one? Well, if the weather temperature is less than 25 degrees, well, we're gonna wear a jacket. But if it's above 25, well, you're gonna probably wear a sweater. And if it's over 44, we don't need it. It's hot. And also, if it's over 44 degrees, well, we don't need a jacket. Well, that is satisfying. So then, how do jackets look like? Well, jackets are type of clothing. Well, how they are consists of a hood, a pocket, and a zipper. Well, sometimes some jackets don't. Well, that's so necessary, right? Um, do animals wear jackets? Well, you're talking about me? Well, I'm a bee. I don't usually wear clothes. But I can, I sure do sometimes on occasions. So, so, are you human or something? How many times you ask me? I'm a human. So, quit doing that. Or I'll gonna make you fall. Bzz, bzz. Sorry. Anyways, so, what are water? Well, water is type of drink, and we use them to drink. Well, haven't you learned about tears? I know, I know. Well, tears are type of a water that we will we'll release when crying. Well, sometimes they could freeze the world. Well, I'm gonna show you a clip of how tears get freezed the world. I will play it for you. Where's Yoshinan? It's gonna be alright. They're not helping. The only method that's going to calm her down right now is finding Yoshinan. Huh? <laughs> Look, you and Yoshinan are going to be together again very soon. Oh well, so that's how it happens? Yep, something you just watch. Well, they froze the world. Do you see that? Oh, tears can freeze. But they're freeze in cold temperatures. Well, if it's less, if it's above negative 40, then it'll freeze. However, it's just a logic. It's not real at all. Oh, okay, okay. I'm glad that isn't real at all. And you didn't know that tears can turn into fire if it's over 120 degrees. Do you know that? They'll freeze if the temperature, they'll turn into fire if the temperature is over 120 degrees. Anyways, can you drop me off home? Well, I hope you have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Do you think it's fun to have a shopping spree? Sure, we are going to have a biggest one we ever have. Yeah. So, we're gonna ride in the cart for some hours. That's gonna be a boring one. 
Mm-hmm. Well, don't be bored. We're gonna go to a grocery store and rushing around. Or I would say there's a, a weird selection that's kind of. We yeah. yeah. How they're going? Why would we stop at Chuck E. Cheese? Well, that's because we're gonna have some fun. Yay! Woohoo! Yeah, that's what I want, guys. Yeah! Let's go inside and have some fun. This is the best day of my life. It looks like I win 70 coins. Good game and hoping to reach 100. Yay, I got 100 coins. Well, we're having fun at Chuck E. Cheese. Well, it's time to groove in out there. So, now the time will never fly. Yay! Now I'm getting some entertainment from those animatronics. So, come on, let's sing. Let's sing. Woohoo! I'm gonna sing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am on her bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on her bros. Alright, it's nighttime. And I'm still at Chuck E. Cheese. Now, so, where are my friends? Ah! Oh no! It looks like my friends is gone. They got kidnapped by Cartoon Network. Well, let's go home anyways. Now I just come home to my real life house. So, now we're in under the bed. So, there shouldn't be a big deal. Oh great, now we have a power outage. There's no more power. And plus, I don't have my phone. And also, even my phone has no internet because of the outage. Now what I'm gonna do with the outage? And worse, I have no GPS tracker to find my kidnapped friends. They have must been in Cartoon Network's Nightmare Land. Let's go to the generator to turn on the power back on. Alright, we're gonna turn back the power back. Now, let's turn on that switch. Uh-oh, it looks like I turned on the wrong switch. Now it's buzzing. Now, let's get out of the power generator. I guess I can't turn the power back on because it has the wrong switch. Now the alarm is going off because I turned on the switch wrong. Well, I guess I'll jump off the cliff. I think it's not helping staying there that long. I think I'll want to in my life but no i have to save it well that was my fault for having too much fun at the chuck e cheese and i wish i didn't do that that was a terrible shopping spree my friends i miss them and and my friends family and friends I want them to come back. I wish I regretted doing this. But there's no remorse for things, for the mistakes I have did. What I'm gonna do. I love your movie. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we just kidnapped his friends. Now he's look, look at him. He's crying like a tiny helpless baby. <laughs> we kidnapped him. Yeah, I agree. That's my Eddie's universal fear. Gets for not taking care of his only quarters. Now, 
Oskis. We have kept his friends inside our barrier. Now they're inside the basement in our basement of our ship. Locked and cannot. It looks like we saw a helicopter. Now I bet it's Cluck and Ben. Let's get in that helicopter. Oh, hello, Ben and Cluck. Well, the reason why we got rescued to the helicopter is because Cartoon Network was about to kidnap us along your friends. Well, that's why they saved us. And we were in the helicopter waiting for you. Okay, now, how do you helicopter crash? Well, suddenly, there's many crashes involving helicopters. Well, they're often caused by loss of control of the driver. So, if the pilot loses the control or was in a, a dev if on the helicopter or not operating it, well, it'll cause the helicopter to crash and sometimes will cause deaths to the victim. Yikes, that gotta hurt. And also, in this case, in other words, they'll cause the driver to have injuries. Oh no, that's gonna hurt, man. So, we'll make sure you'll be active so you don't prevent crashes. Well, I'm sure. So we don't want to lose you in the crash. And we want you to be with us. Well then, so what's the interior of a helicopter? Well, this interior looks like some van, but it really isn't. It's just a helicopter. So, are you in for more questions? So, who operates the helicopter well in there in this helicopter we have two nice friends so you want to meet them oh sure let's go well here they are so now let's introduce ourselves hello my name is NBC Versal fan my name is Jeff and this is my brother Aiden Hello. Hello, Ben, an NBC Versal fan. My name is Ben. So, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing great. So, now we're having a good time. So, now you can go back to your seats. Well, bye, Jeff and Aiden. Well, how is they? look like oh their names was aiden and jeff they were good pilot drivers so how old do i have to be to have a helicopter license well regularly we have to be like 15 or 16 to drive a car but to drive a helicopter well we have to be 18 years old so how old you are well, I'm 13 years old, and I'm gonna turn 14 soon. And how old you are? Well, I'm a bee, so I am 27 years old right now. Well, I am 86 years old. I'm going to turn 87 in four months. So, I am very old chicken, and soon I'll be... 100 years old in 13 years. Wow. Chicken. Well, Cluck, you're 86 years old and about to turn 87. Wow, that... How long... How did you live that long? Well, I have been healthy for so long. I am... I was a trainer when I was young. Well, when I was young, I am a trainer. And I trained people for a gym class at school, and I was a gym teacher. But I retired my job at 57 years old. So now I'm going to, I'm 
retiring some gymnastics to be with you. Well then, exactly. So, if I saved the helicopter, then I'll be able to drive it. Yup, you're right. So now, we're gonna do that. So, now let's go to save your friends. So then, now I can be a hero. Yep, you're right. But, well, we're gonna be careful because we're gonna, we don't wanna die, huh? So then, we can be right. Many people die all the time, every year, every year. So, now we're gonna try to be heroes. Well, oh no, it looks like our driver is unconscious. <gasps> oh my god, now let's go drive the helicopter. Now we're on, you're now taking over the helicopter. So, now you're gonna learn how to drive. Hello world, now it's for lunch, everybody. Now you're gonna get eaten by me. Help me, help me, I don't want to get eaten. Too bad, you got kidnapped. Now you're gonna get eaten. <sighs> uh oh, it looks like the helicopter's gonna crash. Oh no. Sure I can. Oh no, we're about to hit the ground. Ah! See you for the horse! Ah! <clears throat> alright, alright. Now court is in session. Um, why did we get sent to the court? Well, that's because you crashed the helicopter. And you didn't save the to uncushious man on the floor while riding the the helicopter and you didn't bother to save them well what the hell but we were just trying to teach him how to drive well who cares so now we're gonna sentence you to 85 years in jail what? How? I didn't do anything. Why would we go to jail for 85 years? We would get older and older, and we would die at that time. Well, I don't care. I don't care. Now you take them to jail. These pesky animals go to jail. No! Oh great, now we're in jail just because I crashed the helicopter. Well, that isn't your fault for doing that. Don't blame yourself for doing what you did. Well, we need to save those men. Yeah, you should not blame yourselves for mistake you have. Now, how about we'll sing it? Mm -hmm. Mistake you made every mistake you made everything you did you did if you did and mistake it's okay to make mistakes this is n doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt mm. every mistake you take every mistake you take it's okay, it's okay 
to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. It doesn't hurt you at all. It's natural to make mistakes. 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 Well, thanks for making me feel better. Anyways, it's time to sleep. Good night, and we're gonna plan to make an escape tomorrow. Okay, alright. Why you mean a lava pit? Well, that's because dinner's getting cooked. <laughs> what? No! That can't be. I don't want to get cooked into lunch. Well, that's too bad and so sad. You're gonna get ready to get cooked into dinner. Uh-oh, I'll fall. <laughs> wow, that was the biggest nightmare. Well, good morning, everybody. So now let's ready to escape. Now, everybody, we're inside a police's car. Now we're about to take off. Now let's get out of this stupid... Police. Ha 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 No more jail! Yes! These people are suckers! I cannot believe we stole the police car. Yeah. That is the greatest escape. Now this escape was so successful! Now I want to talk about facts? Well, let's... Now I'll ask you a question in there. Well, how do cars were invented? Well, by the end of the 19th century, there were cars made, like the Mercedes car. So, right now the car we're driving is a police version of a 2004 Mercedes D-Class 140. Whoa, that's a fictional car. That's a D-Class. Except, but it's a hatchback. Well, anyways, so what's the exhaust? How, why were exhausts exist? Well, exhausts are a type of pipe where is on the vehicles to blow smoke during in the cold. Um, why the, the smoke comes out in the winter? Well, that's because, of course, because they, they do this and so they can keep the car warm. So, then, um, I want to see if what they smell like. But I have a computer inside, so... Now let's go search it up what they smell like. Okay, okay, I got it. Well, it smells like, like something. It smells like something like helium balloon gas. Well, that's because they were made out of natural gas. Well, well, the weather in in this place right now was is summer so right now we don't see smoke because it's still august but why don't we talk about farting well farting is is a function where human releases gas from the anus yep yes of course then so, you'll know that when somebody farts, something to sound like <laughs> will play. Well, of course, what does it smell like, computer? Of course, they smell like 
nitrogen dioxide. In this case, we release a methane. So that's why it gives you out the bad full smell. So, alright. Well, we will cause this farting. Now let's tell the computer. Well, the first thing is they you'll you'll fart when you eat foods that are hard to digest. So, for example, beans. They will make you fart because they're hard to digest. So, you'll know that. And not only that, but the colon and the bacteria breaks down in your stomach. Well, thus, you'll get gas building up before you release it out. And in this case, you'll have to uh, take a trip to the bathroom if you experience constipation. So good luck experiencing the ultimate series of going to bathroom. Well, let's ask the computer. So what gender smells the worst? Now let's see. Okay, okay, okay. So then you women will smell the worse since they have a high sulfur than men. And if you try to smell women's fort then it'll even more rotten than men's. And be careful you'll pass out from smelling it too much. Anyways, how long you should hold a fart computer? Oh, so you might die if you hold it for too long. And ouch, you're gonna scream when you feel the pain. Yeah, you're gonna scream like that. Ouch, that gotta hurt. So, anyways, what does farting mean? You're right. Farting means you emit gas from the anus. So, now, what are we waiting for? Now let's go call people on the computer. Hello, my friends. I want to say that we're on the way to save you. So, now you're going to hold tight and be patient. <laughs> Hello, my rivals. Cybercat and Cartoon Network. <laughs> We're here for the biggest battle ever. So, are you gonna ready? Yeah, you're gonna, gonna die. And you'll be a lose the battle. Anyways, so now let's go ready. Well, so then, we're gonna say we're gonna start the ultimate battle in the world. Well, let's go ready. I am stronger than you. I am bigger than you. I am powerful than you. Oh, you should use the power of soul. Let's summon Lucky and he'll sing you the song for the ultimate battle. Oh, I am Lucky. Now, what do you want from me? I want you to help me defeat this Cartoon Network and his cat. So, are you ready to get powerful? Yeah, now let's go summon the power of soul. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, I am Lucky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna start the ultimate battle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you gonna start the power of two? I am lucky, yeah, I'm lucky, we're gonna summon, mm -hmm. I am so lucky, I am lucky, I am lucky. I am lucky. We're gonna use our 
power of two. We're gonna use power of soul. We're gonna use the power of two. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on. Now I am lucky. This is power of two. You're gonna, you'll never defeat me. Mm, now you're gonna die. No, you're not. Mm, I am lucky. I am power. Power of two. Power of soul. You're gonna take away and lose your Deadly soul, um, you're gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna die. Mm, you're gonna die. Mm, you're gonna die. You're not gonna die. Cartoon Network. You're gonna get tick in your soul. You're gonna die. Mm -hmm. You're gonna die. No. Yeah. Havoc. You're gonna die. Go to West. No, I ain't. Yes, you are. You're gonna get your chicken soul. You're gonna die. The power. The soul. The soul. Of course. The soul, you're gonna do, 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 you're gonna gonna win oh you're gonna get you the you're I you're weak oh you're a lying huh stronger 
better than you. Oh! Ah! Doing well, Lucky. Keep it up. You're doing well. Yeah, I can count with you. Me too. by those stupid pesky guys this hero's gonna pay for it when we get defeated yes you're keeping do it now now cry or defeat thanks to this stupid lucky bye good riddance now bye, get out of here. Oh, hello, my friends. Yay, I just got my friends back. We're glad that you saved us. Thank you for saving us. You're our heroes. Look, it looks like we got a new headquarters. Now this is the end.
We're lucky. We're lucky. I'll come back soon as I come back from this torture.